It's been a long wait, but Kerbal Space Program 2 is finally getting close. The game will be launching into Early Access in just a few weeks on the 24th of February. But what can we expect to see? Well, Private Vision have done a great job of providing information and insight about the upcoming game. And indeed, KSP2 is going to be a huge game. However, only a small segment from all of that will be available on day one. The early access release then will be broken down into sections, so let's take a look at what we know so far and when we can expect it. For this, the roadmap is a great place to start. Now, KSP2 is going to contain a whole bunch of gameplay mechanics that the original didn't have. For example, colonies and interstellar travel, that's right, the ability to travel to other star systems. The roadmap shows a single new star system called Deb Deb, but elsewhere on the roadmap we can see there will be more. No word yet on just how many though there will be. The far future of KSB2 would also contain a multiplayer. Before we get to all of that though, the game does need to continue through its development cycle, and for this, Intercept Games and the Private Division have chosen the early access route. Now, this is something that worked extremely well for the original game, allowing the community to provide insight and feedback, and really it did help make Kerbal Space Program what it is today. The developers are keenly aware of this, and I know they will make mistakes along the way and need to adjust their plans, so I really do feel that early access is the best approach for this. But of course, it's important to keep in mind that KSP1 come out in 2011, an early access then was a very different beast compared to what it is today. Today, there's some growing distrust around certain early access titles, some don't deliver on their final promises, but I think KSP is a good franchise, and I suspect the players are in very good hands. That said, there is a bit of a sticking point for me, and maybe for others as well, and that is the price of the game. Priced at $49.99, it is very, very expensive for an early access title. Although the developers do say that you will get the final version of the game with this early access purchase, that is pretty much standard and path for the course nowadays with early access titles. So yeah, it does seem a little bit on the pricey side, but then again, you're probably getting a lot of value for your money over time. And talking of time, you may be wondering about the duration of the early access period. Well, unfortunately, there's no word on that whatsoever, other than to say that it will be done when it is done. So it seems the developers and publishers want to take as long as is needed to get Kerbal Space Program 2 into its best possible condition and add all the various components that they want to add. Unfortunately, it means that aspects such as multiplayer could be a very, very long time in the future. For now then, the roadmap is the best guide to go by. Unfortunately, as I said, no release dates on this, but it does give us a bit of insight into the order we can expect these particular aspects to release in. So, starting with Early Access, this will be at day one on the 24th of February and will contain the entirety of the Kerbal system. For those of you who have played KSP1, you'll be very familiar with this star system and of course the iteration, the second iteration, will contain all the same planets. However, these would have been rebuilt and improved. On screen right here, you can see the Kerbal spaceport on the Kerbal planet, and we can see many of those improvements. For example, the great looking terrain, the vastly improved assets of the Kerbal Space Center itself, and of course, a great looking sky, not to mention some really nice volumetric clouds. We can expect to see similar improvements throughout the rest of the star system. Now, some of you may feel that this really isn't too different to a modified Kerbal Space Program 1, and that is where the additional features will basically improve upon that later on with the additional star systems and the colonies system. But all of those are further down the road, and it means for now, early access on day one will be, it seems, about a sandbox experience in the Kerbola system. So, according to the roadmap, this will include an improved user experience the ability to explore revamped Kerbola system with new parts and an all new tutorial and onboarding. Now the tutorials are especially interesting here as they are, have been a huge focus for the development team. Specifically, the game is going to include cartoons to both illustrate the technical side of the game as well as explain some of these scientific concepts. 
For me personally, this is something I'm really interested in. I'm no scientist by any means, and I don't really have any understanding or any grasp of orbital mechanics or uh, even rocket science. So yeah, this should hopefully be a big help. KSP-2, why it's certainly being aimed at the experts and veterans of KSP-2, but the development team will also be wanting to bring in a new audience. So this, with the tutorials, is definitely something that they want to get right. Now, another thing worth pointing out here is science. Science gathering, the tech tree progression, these are not going to be in on day one. Essentially, that means no career mode, at least I would assume that. And based on the information we've got here, I do feel that is an entirely reasonable assumption. In short then, the first day of early access is pretty much going to be a sandbox in the Kerbal star system. Now, what I'm curious about here is just how many parts players are going to get access to. We know that KSP-2 is going to have a whole range of different parts, including many procedural parts, and these I'm particularly interested in getting hands-on with. Hopefully, these are going to be arriving with early access and are not something that players have to wait too long for. At any rate, if you get the impression that day one of early access is going to be fairly light with features, it seems quite likely that is definitely going to be the case. Although this does lead to another very interesting question, and that's just how fast are the updates going to come out? We've got the bigger ticket items, science colonies, interstellar, exploration, multiplayer, another one off to the edge of the roadmap there, which seems to be uh, hinting that there's something more beyond multiplayer. We'll have to see. But either way, these bigger ticket items are likely going to have quite some space between their release. What we're not seeing here is how many additions are going to come between these big ticket items. So early access, for example, to step one, is it going to have a multiple stage of smaller updates? Seems very likely, as usually, that is exactly what early access is about. And each of these big key items, these big key updates, should hopefully then be followed with smaller updates, which improve these features. So ultimately then, no doubt, we're going to get more information as we approach the 24th of February. For now though, this represents pretty much everything we currently know about Early Access. If you want to know more about Kerbal Space Program 2, specifically is planetary tech, which does look very, very impressive, do check out the video linked on the screen right here. It should give you a good insight as to what to expect. Check it out.